real drama still lies in how the EU might help to stop speculators gambling on the fortunes of Greece and the rest of the Eurozone. The jobs and livelihoods of millions could depend on it. Will Greece do what it needs to do and will the European Union live up to the challenges it's facing? To answer some of those questions, hopefully, I'm joined by four members of the European Parliament. Vicky Ford for uh, the British Conservatives who sits on the Parliament's Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee. Yorgo Chatsimakakis, who is a German Liberal, also of Greek origin as well. We have uh, Peter Skinner for British Labour, also on that uh, Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee, who speak for uh, Labour on that issue. And uh, we also have Stavros Labrinidis, who um, represents the Greek Social Democrats in the European Parliament. Let me ask you, first of all, though, uh, Yorgo, uh, the country that you represent here at the Parliament, the German uh, Germany, has there's been a really strong reaction to what's going on in Greece, uh, 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 an opposition to the idea of any kind of bailout, particularly from your party, which are the junior partners in the coalition. But beyond that, a popular uh, outcry. Why? Well, first of all, a bailout is ruled out by the Maastricht Treaty. So there's no, uh, we shouldn't discuss a bailout. Our party and the foreign ministers, our party president was uh, some days ago in Greece and said uh, politically Germany would uh, help and would do whatever. What is the fact though is that uh, and if, you, if you see this uh, focus which is really discussed in, uh, in Greece now, uh, this is free media that started a campaign and saying betrayers in the Euro family. So this is one of Germany's this leading is, magazines. This is one of yeah. Germany's betrayers, betrayers yes. in the Euro family. And that is what German, Germans feel that they feel betrayed. They sacrificed their Deutschmark some 10 years ago to offer everybody the stability of the euro, but based on clear rules. And they feel that the rules were not fulfilled by some in the euro family. And Greece is only the first case, and they fear, they are scared that others would follow on. Do you think Greece has been treated fairly, uh, Stavros Lambrinidis? Uh, Partly yes and partly no. Uh, as far as the Germans are concerned, I, w I wish that they would visit Greece and see all the BMWs on the streets. They would probably feel a little they better. Are nice, aren't they probably they? feel a little better about the way that Greece is, Greeks are supporting the German economy. Partly yes and partly no. Look, we are in a terrible mess. We inherited one the new Greek government in October of 2009, uh, and it's our mess. Uh, we got our public uh, finances out of control. Uh, we uh, spent uh, much more than we could. We actually produced. And we're going to have to deal with it and put our house in order. But I mean, can we I will interrupt you and just say, yes. listening to your deputy prime minister, it doesn't sound like he, he shares your view. He's blaming this generation of EU leaders. He says in the old days it would have been better. He starts talking about the war and gold taken by the Germans under occupation. I mean, it's got pretty bad tempered. Well, no, he's the same person, by the way, who, who in, uh, very recently uh, had a statement that said uh, to the Greek people, he said, look, it, stop complaining and shouting about this. We need to have very tough measures. Mm -hmm. We filled up this glass the way we did. Now we have to drink the whole thing and stop complaining. But what he also expressed, and that's interesting, is the other part of the coin of your question. Because Greece is also treated unfairly as well. This article uh, is clearly very offensive to many people. Uh, and uh, it uh, casts aspersions on Greeks in general uh, in a way that not many people, as you can imagine, when they're making a very, very tough effort to adjust uh, a ruined economy, would appreciate. Okay, but that's one newspaper in the scheme of things. But you is the EU articles. treating Greece in the right way? I would give you this very simple answer. I think that the EU has, up to a point, provided political support, which is all we have been asking, in order for us to make these difficult changes we have to make. Mm -hmm. We know we have to make them, we will make them. We never, ask, we never ask for bailouts, but what we did ask, and I believe up to now we have not received effectively, is a true political support. Think of a Wild West movie. Europe needs to put a gun on the table, and the gun needs to be very specific measures that it is ready to take.